Welcome along guys, welcome to episode nine. Today is quite exciting, today is a little bit different. Today we are concentrating on fitting graphics. Now if you're anything like me, if you've ever tried, if you've ever attempted to do a wrap or wrap something, it, I just can't do it. It just comes out crinkled, bubbled, I really struggle. I managed to fit a stone protection kit to the H2, but that's the only thing I've ever managed to apply without it looking absolutely like a five-year-old's done it. So today, I am going to attempt to install my custom LCR graphics kit from Crispy Designs. Just look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm gonna try and fit that to the 690. I've watched a few videos of how to install your graphics kit, and there seems to be two ways of thinking. Put it on wet, or put it on dry using heat. I'm gonna go for the dry method. I like to go in dry and then use a hairdryer. Yes, I do own a hairdryer. It's, it's not mine, it's, it's Mavis's. And see if I can get these on. So this is basically, if I can achieve a good finish fitting this graphics kit, it means you can. That's the point of this video. If I can get good results, it means you can too. So this is how you install graphics kits to a motorcycle. Chopsy, roll the intro. First of all, massive thank you to Crispy Designs for doing this. I find it's better that way, yeah. Massive thanks to Mr. Crispy for doing this. I'll put links below um, to Crispy's uh, website, but custom graphics. I gave him some input of what I wanted. I said I wanted to go dark. I wanted to remove some of the white from the bike. So I'm pretty happy with these now, um, but you can't really tell what it's like until you've actually got them fitted. So without further ado, let's crack on. So here we are, I've refitted the panels because I think it's much easier to apply graphics when the panels are on the bike because you need to push, you need to pull, you need to squeeze left and right and if the panel's loose it's just sliding around on the area you're working so I think it's better to do it on the bike we'll see that's the first assumption I'm taking the standard kit I, I don't like it now I don't like it back on the bike it's the bike looks far too stock I've, I've you know there's been I've spent fortunes on this machine and with the standard panels fitted, it's just looking way too stock for me. So it needs a bit of jazzing up. It needs a bit of the LCR treatment. So what are you gonna need to do this job to fit these decals? Well, you're gonna first of all have to clean all of the panels. For that, I've got myself some rubbing alcohol. This was from eBay, I think it's about 16 pound. I've had it for years now, but pure alcohol clean all the panels off even if your panels are brand new they still have some sort of silicon on them so always wipe your panels down before you start you're also going to need a heat gun or a hair dryer now i have got a heat gun but i think i've been told that the heat gun could be a bit too aggressive a bit too much heat and you're better off using a hair dryer so i have pinched mavis's hair dryer take that mavis have it she loves being blown I've got to cut down all these innuendos, it's getting ridiculous. So to start with, it was recommended to me to start on something small, like the fork protectors. So here's the sticker, which goes on the fork. Are these decals, decals, decals or decals? Uh, I'm gonna call them decals. So I've been recommended to start small and then work your way up. The hard stuff is gonna be, of course, the curved rear panels. That's gonna be the hardest thing. But I've been said, start with a small area and then work up to a more complex area. Spray a bit of spray, give it a little wipe, get off all of the dirt, all of the grease, get these things looking like new because you know, you're not gonna get any adhesion unless these are completely clean. Fit the decal over, decal, decals, yeah, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a decal. Or maybe I'll call it a decal at times. <laughs> it could be either. I don't move them in. What has been recommended is to try and line up the holes first. This is actually quite a rounded, complicated shape. Oh, let's just go for it. So, oh God. Oh, and then that should go around like there. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I should use water. Oh my God, is this the easiest thing to start with? Mm. Oh, it looks much easier on the YouTube videos. Absolutely made to measure, so you've got to get it. Oops. 
absolutely cock on. Got a crank there, ready? Got a crank. Might need a little bit of heat just to soften that up a little bit. A little bit of heat, not too much heat, I've been told. Okay, not looking absolutely terrible. First piece on, and actually, that's not really that terrible. There's a little bit here. I had a, I had like a nick here where there was a stone chip, and you've got the, the, the it raises here, so there's not really a great deal you can do about that because it's on like a raised piece. You can see on the stock one here, it's raised here, but down here and stuff, yeah, that's not too bad. For first attempt, that ain't half bad. Actually, that's not looking too bad considering it was done by a buffoon in a cap. As far as Mavis goes, that's a compliment. <laughs> and a little bit of a kink starting here, so I'm going to do a little bit of heat now. Oh, I don't want to kink that. I'm going to go back on that a little bit. I don't want to kink that. It's starting to kink that. Ah! I'm fighting a bit of a kink now. This piece is now looking tricky here. This is why I hate it. There's actually the SMCR sticker under here as well, so you're fighting like the standard decals. I'm actually uh, pretty happy with that. <laughs> that looks spot on. So I'm trying to work out which will be the easiest piece to do next. Everything else, I was thinking the cow, but it's quite curved, the cow. I think I'm going to try the mudguard. I think I'm going to try my luck now with the mudguard piece. The mudguard is pretty complex and you've got these separate pieces. So I guess you start here, but it's all ridged. I don't know, actually. I don't think there's anything easy left. Ooh. Stop being a bloody pussy. So I'm thinking sort of get the front on first and then, and then and how far back does that have to go? Oh, I think I have to take the headlight off. Welcome back. Headlight is now removed so I can get this sticker right in under here. Oh, could it be over a little bit more? God, it's tricky this. This is terrifying. Let's get that little kitty in. Let's do the same this side of this bit. Oh, it's got a tuck light up there. Look. Oh, tricky. It's wrinkled. I think if you've got to bend it around an edge, I think we need a bit of heat. Mavis, can you hold this? What is the point of having an assistant if they've got no arms? Lovely. Oh, that's gone down. That's gone down nice. This is actually quite easy because it's in like three separate pieces, so it's not as scary as it looks. No. Yes. I've got a tiny little wrinkle there. The viewers don't want to hear about your little wrinkle. Let's try and do this bit. This bit's critical. Bubble. Don't you dare bubble, you little bastard. Do not bubble. Mavis, tell it, it's bubbling. I do suck at this. Oh god, I'm pear shape now. And there's a little tiny wrinkle there, but for a numpty, that ain't too bad. Next up is the headlight shroud. I think it's probably the next easiest piece to do. <sighs> Give it a wipe. The problem with this piece, it's got a few like marks in the plastic where it's had stone chips and stuff. A good tip is just to tear off a bit of the backing for where you're starting. Look at me, almost sound like I'm talking about. It's too far over. No. Oh God, it's, no, it's not up in the middle. Let's get some heat on. come across like that. Can we get those little cranks out? Magic fingers you say Mavis? It does help if you've got strong powerful fingers for doing this. I've got strong fingers Mavis haven't I? Giving myself a blister already all that thumbing. I said thumbing! That is actually starting to look a bit special, isn't it? 
And there's a couple of little uh, bits to finish it off, which go down on there here. No, no, no. Come on, chops. Last try before they ruin it. Come to daddy. Hey, oh, give it a good old try. Next up, we've got the side pieces. So I'm going to take the seat off, put these on the side, and then see how we tackle like the radiator shroud bits. But uh, we're getting there now. I'm feeling confident I can do this. <laughs> it's tricky, but it's, it's okay. I think I'm doing okay. Go something like that. It's just all this bit where it bubbles here. It's just horrible when it does that. Terrifying Mavis, it's terrifying. That could be considered, I guess, one of the harder pieces. It's not gonna be as hard as the rear panels, but that, that was, that was semi-difficult. But I think it's worked. I think I pulled it off. Mavis, I pulled it off. Not again. The alcohol seems to be doing a good job though as a cleaning solution rather than any you know special prep fluid or whatever. Bottle of this alcohol, brilliant to have in, keep in your garage. Good for cleaning exhaust down, good for cleaning bugs marks off your bike. All sorts of purposes to alcohol. And of course you could drink it. Mm, no, no, don't, don't drink it. That is looking pretty decent. I'm quite impressed with myself here. Or is it more to do with the uh, the decal material <laughs> than my skills? So next we have this little piece. It goes up here. I think I did the same thing as last time. Heat the sticker slightly before I start. Heat the area. Maybe this is anything else I should be thinking about here. Don't forget to tell your insurance company about all the modifications. That is looking really nice. I like that. I really like that. So I've now completed the left side as well. So all that is remaining is the tail. The side panels on the back and the tail. So two pieces left really. But uh, I thought I'd get all these bits done. As much learning as possible going on. So what have I learned so far? If you're doing it in cold conditions, you know, if you do this in the summer, it's fine. But in cold conditions, warm up the plastic and the part you're sticking it to first of all. Try and get the flat pieces aligned and then pull around the corners and work work it down um, you can lift it on and off a few times if you're not quite happy with how it's placed or you may have to lift the, the rear piece off and push it down you know to get it to fix but it's not too bad it's i'm really happy with how it's come out i've got a couple of tiny little creases and the odd tiny little bubble but i mean i'm i'm rubbish at this normally i'm terrible at wrapping things so i'm actually pretty darn happy with the results so far so i think now I'm ready for the tough piece, the real curved panels at the back. Let's see if I can get these on without completely ballsing it up. So we've got three pieces left, the two side panels, and this is what I'm really worried about, the little contours in here, not getting creases in here, and the big fold over pieces here, the big angular pieces here. And this is a large piece to go on here, so let's just do it. Don't cock it up at the last minute. Whatever you're doing, always clean it before you start. So that is it. So we've got a tuck down in here. We've got to go. So I think which where to start it. So difficult. Do that. Pull that up again and sort of come down again here. Where this goes in here, I think I'm going to have to use heat sort of stretch that in. That was actually pretty tense. <laughs> pretty darn tense. But I'm over the moon with how that is looking. Absolutely over the moon with it. For a first attempt at fitting graphics, I don't think I've done too bad. Mavis, give us a song. It's Halloween time, and I'm here to help the werewolf whose howl is more like a yelp. The ghost with its sheet all wrinkled and stained, the vampire with a cavity, what a pain. 
Oh, how they feel so sad and low. Mavis, shut up. What a load of rubbish. It's not even Halloween, Mavis. Oops, my bad. You are. Terrible, in fact. Now get in there. Get in that crack. As the kids would say, that's pretty sick. There we go, guys, all done. <laughs> it's taken me, I'd say, three hours to do this, you know, a panel at a time. Well, obviously, you're not gonna do more than one panel at a time. But it wasn't too bad. I think the crispy design graphics, I think the material he's using is a bit easier, perhaps, to apply. It seems to go on quite easily. I'm really happy with the design, what he's done. You know, we worked together on it. I sort of gave him some ideas of what I wanted and he'd come up with this scheme and then we tweaked it a little bit. And when the wheels go on, the black and orange frayed wheels as well, oh, it's going to look amazing. I'm, I'm so happy with this. A massive, massive thank you to Mr. Crispy, Christian at Crispy, at Crispy Designs. Amazing. Links below if you want to have a look at any other work he's done. But super impressed with this. It's transformed the bike. When I put the standard panels back on, it just looked really dull and boring again. And this has just transformed it. So massive thanks. I'm over the moon with this. Absolutely over the moon. Woo! Mavis! Good, isn't it? Christian is amazing. I love the design. He can come and cover me in his sticky anytime. Even Mavis likes it. It's something special.